All right, back again, Luke here, and today what I want to do is show you guys how to wire up your Round Trip RV Hyper Neo Geo 64 board, or uh, Road's Edge, as you might be able to find it. Now, this board here is not uh, super common. If you've heard some of my uh, other videos and uh, you've been able to search online for it, it's not extremely rare, but uh, trying to find the motherboard and the ROM together is uh, a bit of work. But if you do come across it, uh, I wanted to show you how to wire it up so you can use the handle or the steering wheel and uh, a set of brake and gas pedals. Now, you can use basically anything. I wound up putting this thing back together. looks a lot better than it did before. But um, I'm going to show you how to wire this thing up so you guys don't have to go through the hassle I did. <laughs> so, key point first, um, when you get your board, if you decide to just normally hook it up, what it's going to do is it's going to go into a network test mode. And uh, what you have to do is you have to bridge some of these wires on the back here. This is a 15-pin connector. If you don't bridge these wires, uh, what it'll do is just sit in that check mode and it'll continue to go through it. It's uh, endless. Uh, luckily, I was able to find some information on this section here from Supreme Judge as well as Neo Turfmaster um, on the uh, the JAMA Nation X uh, site, and that is basically this. So, if you're looking at the back of the board, the board would be facing like this. These are really rough sketches, but uh, hopefully you'll be able to read them. What you want to do is you want to bridge uh, numbers one, three, five, six, seven, and eight. So only these uh, posts you want to bridge together. Everything else, you know, don't don't bridge. You can bend down or whatever, but um, use a wire and jump them. As you can see here, uh, it's not the prettiest work, but um, I have them jumped. And this, by doing this, this will get you out of that test mode. Um, what it'll do when it originally starts up is uh, it'll check to make sure everything's hooked up, all the boards are hooked up. Then it'll go into a network test. And um, the network test, if you have everything wired up here, will only last about 37 seconds, and then it'll jump into the game. If you don't have these all bridged, it will continue to go to 99 seconds and then start over at uh, zero again and continue to do it. So first, what you want to do is bridge all these points. Next thing you want to do is the difficult part. Now, that's wiring up all of the different components, the steering wheel, uh, the gas and brake pedal, the view, um, the shift up and shift down. There's some things that I still didn't wire up. Uh, I still haven't wired up yet, and that's just because uh, I'm feeling a little bit, uh, a little bit lazy. But um, those are the BGM sound and um, the start button. And BGM sound, basically, with the standard JAMA uh, setup, if you just have it plugged in, you'll find your BGM on the second player buttons. So those are to change the background music. Uh, start button is going to be your start, no matter what uh, machine you use. So, if you want to wire those up, you guys will have to kind of hunt and pick through the harness and um, and wire those up yourself. Uh, like I said, I just haven't gotten gotten around to doing it. Feeling a little bit lazy. This took uh, quite a bit of work to get done. So, those are uh, some components that I don't have wired up. To tell you what I do have wired up, kind of like uh, the last video, I have the view, uh, A and B view, so you can change to uh, an inside view or uh, just outside looking at the truck. Um, I have the, the, what is it, shift up, shift down, left and right for the steering wheel, gas and brake hooked up. So those are going to be uh, this chart here. Now this is really, really difficult to see and maybe uh, hard to understand. But um, going over here, uh, a lot of these work on uh, potentiometers. The steering, the gas, and the brake all work on potentiometers. The uh, view up and shift up and down, those work on regular micro switches. But what you're going to do here for your brake and gas pot is you're going to uh, wire a couple of these together. Now make sure that you look at the back of the pots and the far right pin, uh, as you can see here, the black uh, line, you're going to wire that from uh, the far right side on the brake to the far right side on the gas pot and then run that black wire all the way down here to the uh, the bottom row, uh, second pin in here, that's for your 20, uh, 21 pin connector. There's one giant connector on there and that uses most of the uh, the cables here that you'll see. So, And then from there, you'll also wire that to the last far right post on the steering pod. So as you can see there, everything's wired up. Um, it's all connected. Next one here for your brake pot. Uh, the very middle one, you're going to run a wire from there all the way to 
the third uh, the third pin in from the bottom. Uh, this is the front looking at the machine, so third pin in from the bottom. And make sure that you get these wires uh, exact, because if you don't, it's going to be uh, a bit of a uh, problem. So wire that one there. Uh, for the red uh, wire here, the far left side of the pot, you're going to wind up wiring that with the far left side of the gas pot, brake pot and gas pot, and then run a wire all the way down here to the very first uh, bottom left corner of the uh, connector. And that will get you uh, your brake. Your brake will be completed. Uh, for the gas here, you can see there's one more uh, wire that is the very middle uh, for the gas pot and that one is run all the way down here to the second row far right and that last pin right there in the middle that will give you your acceleration so by wiring up these ones so far you'll have uh, gas and brake now what you want to do over here for your steering is you have to make sure the steering is exact uh, don't change these wires around because if you do your car will just uh, spin in one direction so make sure you have them all hooked up We've already discussed the uh, the far right pin that's going to be connected with all of the uh, the brake and the gas pot, and uh, the left pin, far left pin. What you're going to do is wire that one here to the fourth one in on the second row. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, at the fourth one in there, and uh, the blue wire. Uh, the, I just used these colors. These are the only colors that I had <laughs> as far as markers go. So. Um, the middle uh, pin on this pot, you're going to wire up here to the fifth, uh, the fifth pin in from the left side, middle row. So you can see the blue wire here. Now uh, by doing that, you'll have your steering completed. And uh, from steering, uh, it's pretty much a, a piece of cake. So we already have our gas and we have uh, brake and steering hooked up. Next thing to do is hook up our view and our shift up and, and down. If you notice here, you can see a black wire uh, running basically throughout all of this, um, throughout the A, B, the down and up. You can run that as just basically your ground wire. And uh, one pin on A and B uh, on both the micro switches, one pin on shift up and shift, shift down, those are all connected and those go to the same spot as the far left pin on the steering pot. So they all connect here on uh, pin number four, four in from the middle row and uh, yeah, those will give you uh, your, um, what is it, your ground. So. And then from there, each individual wire uh, to shift up, yellow wire here, we have the top row, third one in. And once again, this is looking at uh, the board from the front, so third one in from the top. That'll give you your shift up. The brown wire here, this is your shift down. That goes the fourth wire in from the top. And the pink wire here for view up, that goes in your second slot from the top. Uh, and going, to the, going towards the right. And the last one is the silver wire here. This is for view A, and that is the first uh, upper left-hand corner. So if you can understand these instructions, I know this is really, uh, you know, it's really hand-drawn and, and everything, but it should be pretty easy to, to see where everything gets wired up. The one thing I'm still having a problem with is the sound. Now you'll see this green wire down here, and this green wire I just added in for now. Um, what it does is it gives you background music, but uh, it, it's not very loud. Um, at least it'll give you enough to play. But um, I think for this system, you need a uh, some kind of boosting system for a sound booster or something. Because um, if you don't have this green wire here, well, we'll add this in here. So this is the third brick. This is a 15-pin connector. So it'll go 21-pin, uh, 4-pin, 15-pin, I think it goes 12-pin, and then 9-pin uh, at the very end. So this third, uh, third brick here... Uh, what you're going to wind up doing is, uh, if you want to have background sound, once again, this is really low uh, sound, but at least you'll be able to hear the music in the background. Um, I just put a wire here from the second one in on the top row, uh, from the top left corner, so, and then uh, the second one in from the bottom right, so if you're going backwards, the second one in, I just put a green wire there, and that'll at least give you sound. Um, you know, trying to find tutorials on this stuff or trying to find, uh, you know, someone to, to give you a hand with this stuff is really, really difficult. I haven't found uh, very much information. Luckily, I was able to find some 
uh, for the back part here, I was able to find some help there from Supreme Judge and the Jamination X uh, site. But for this one here, this has just been uh, just a kind of guessing game, you know, trying to get everything wired up. But if you hook everything up here, you should have uh, everything ready to go, and this should be, uh, you know, a piece of cake. You should be able to just sit back, relax, and do some driving, you know. But um, let's let's show you what I mean here. Let's turn this thing on. Hopefully. So as you can see here, it's going through its main, uh, its, uh, main boot sy uh, system, and it'll go through this and just check to make everything's connect, make sure everything's connected. Uh, one thing I recommend doing is just not touching the brake pedal, not touching the gas, not touching the steering or anything while this is uh, going through its check mode, because uh, something if you mess with something, it might throw it off. So. As you can see here, this is going through a network test, and if you don't bridge those uh, back pins, it'll continue to sit here through the, um, the test mode, but if you have those pins bridged, you still have to sit here and wait, but it'll go through uh, 37 seconds, and then it'll jump into the game. Five, six, seven... Bam. So like I said, you can kind of hear sound now, not the loudest, but at least it's uh, some music, you know, some sound. Might be really hard to hear, but... Oh, one more thing is the coin in is located on the harness as well, so you have to go back and, uh, you know, use the coin in on the, the game itself. Um, I don't have any of the coin in stuff uh, wired up to the steering wheel as well, but... So if anything, I would like to get the uh, the um, sound wired up more, you know, to get it to work better. But you've got a few more minutes here. I'll show you what I mean. This thing in action. So you've already seen the steering wheel here. Um, this is kind of a rough, a rough setup here, running it on my lap. But uh, so we'll just go to trial, just so I can show you the view here, how the view's working. But it works nice, really nice. Um, to show you, I have A and B hooked up here. So these are my A and B view, as you can see here. So pressing this, you can see A and B view. But uh, once again, you know, this isn't uh, any kind of gameplay video just to show you what's going on. But, uh, you know, it's got music, it's drivable now, and uh, this should be enough to get you going. You know, if somebody else decides to do this and gets uh, further and has uh, any other advice to give or any other tips, anything else, that would be fantastic because uh, I'd love to, to get some, uh, some more advice on this stuff, especially with the music. Um, you know, so we can just kind of help each other out and hopefully everyone who has this board can enjoy uh, playing, you know, Road's Edge, or, um, what is it, Extreme, Extreme Rally, I believe, or Extreme, uh, Extreme Racing, uh, the other driving game for the Hyper Neo Geo 64, that would be fantastic, but, yeah, I just wanted to give you a little bit of, uh, some information here as to how to wire this thing up, and, uh, show you what I've done so far, and where I've gotten so far, and, yeah. That's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching.